All right, we are back with the Aston Villa career mode. So we're getting very close to the end of uh, the first season here at Villa. We got two months left, so I think that's two episodes. In this one, we got Spurs, Liverpool, and Everton in the FA Cup semis. But I think we'll probably sim this Spurs game and then play West Ham away. I think that's what we'll do. So sitting ninth place, we're going to try to creep into that ninth spot or the eighth spot, actually, because I feel like eighth is the highest we can finish. And that would be a great finish for us this year. Of course, we won the Carabao Cup in the last one. So that is Conference League. According to one of you in the comments, that allows us to get Conference League next season, which is still great. I mean, Conference League, it deserve some respect especially now that Aston Villa are potentially in it but I mean FA Cup semis if, I, if we win the FA Cup I'm pretty sure it'll be Europa League instead and we're in the semis we're facing Everton if we get to the final it'll be United or Chelsea so there's a chance there is a chance for a domestic double here so drop a like if you are still enjoying the series you guys have been just killing it with the likes on this series and I will say it for like the fifth time that is why this series continues to be a daily series so if you want to keep seeing the series daily drop this video a like and we are inching closer and closer to 40,000 subs I think we're about 500 away I think so sub down below if you are not sub all right first comment Mings is 28 now and I, I'm thinking it'll start to slow his growth a bit you sign a younger center back to replace him like Guardiola or, uh, or LaCroix LaCroix that's actually how you pronounce it I think honestly Mings is only 29 I mean that's not that's not too old in, in FIFA especially like I think next season we're definitely gonna look for a new center back though I feel like Courtney House we might try to sell him and bring in someone younger like a Guardio or, or Lacroix but Mings is the captain he's playing so well for us I don't see us moving on from anytime soon to be honest like he is the captain of this team and the next one try to buy Ramsey as a cam in real life he's playing well linking up with uh, Coutinho Coutinho in a two cam formation yeah he does seem like he might be more suited to play as a cam but I want to make him a box to box because I feel like in this 4-3-3 the midfield of McGinn Douglas Louise and Ramsey like it has been really good if we get his defending up I think he would be like an insane box to box plus like we're really starting to hit some form towards the end of the season so I don't want to change the formation right now but maybe season two when this roster might look a little different some players are shifted maybe we could uh do a formation change to something like that but for now I think we're sticking with what uh what's been working and the last one you should give White House more playing time he needs to play more to improve because he has a potential or you could loan him I hear you guys in the comments I see it I see the comments you guys want White House to play more I hear you loud and clear I mean he's played what 18 games a season it's not a bad amount we definitely could be playing him more though and I think starting in this episode we're gonna maybe try and start him a bit and see how he plays because someone mentioned that uh he does kind of have like a Jack Grealish build to him and honestly he kind of looks like him a little bit too with a different hairstyle I guess and at 18 a left a left wing that can kind of play cam kind of play center mid he's basically like a region of uh Jack Grealish now is he gonna live up to that billing because Jack Grealish what a player he was for Villa so we're gonna give him some game time this episode some chances to start and we're gonna see if he can fill those shoes of Jack Grealish. I mean, at 18, already plus seven this season up to a 77. He looks like he's about to be an insane player. So we should be giving him more game time. So your guys' comments are heard loud and clear. Now, honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is okay wait, let's go back to the stats ollie watkins he has seven goals only two goals in 23 premier league games Danny Ings has only three goals while leon bailey has 23 i think in this episode we're gonna put bailey at center forward and then start white house we're gonna try this because i mean leon bailey is a plus five at uh at, at center forward same as right wing so he can definitely play there but this way we can give a chance to white house to start which honestly might be better someone mentioned this a couple episodes ago and i didn't really think about trying it but this is a way to get white house to start and also leon bailey is the main goal scorer get him down the middle maybe more chances to score it uh it might make a lot of sense for us so we are gonna 1000 percent try this in this episode and we will see if white house can live up to uh being the next jack Grealish. all right first scouting report from india he's not like that good this guy not that good this guy like the wage is decent but the the actual stats are just so low not good and also not good man these these two scouts we were sending all these countries they're not finding anything from any country mexico this guy's only brought back three guys what is this uh bad bad and these guys probably deserve to be fired next season logan ball and tommy watson are literally doing nothing but all right first game against wolves we're going with uh, Coutinho, bailey white house we're gonna try that out in a sim game and then only other changes when dia comes in for douglas louise due to fitness wolves away could is always a tough game and it shows it's gonna be a two and loss yeah that was that was a rough game for everyone if we win this we might jump into eighth but uh it's spurs but it's at home i don't know we are gonna sim this though because i think i'd rather play west ham than spurs in this episode so at home once again bailey at striker center forward white house starting and it's gonna be a 3-3 draw i think i'll take that mcginn ramsey and douglas Luiz score so the the midfield doing the goal scoring for us that's not terrible against Spurs that's not terrible all right so next up is Liverpool this will be the first played game we're still in 10th so Chris Paz have two games at hand 
And if we win both, we'd be on 52. We want to try and get in the ninth spot. That does seem like the ceiling for us this season. And Liverpool are trying to catch up to the title race to Chelsea. We're in first. So also, I have made some slight adjustments to the sliders. I can't remember. I, I think this was on 45 before. And now it's on 47. It's not a big change. Pass error is still on seven. I feel like five was a little weird. So seven kind of makes more sense, even though it's not that big of a difference. We lowered uh, injury severity to 25 for both user and CPU. And then I raised marking, same thing for user and CPU to 60. It was at 57 before. I feel like players still do not mark really that like tight enough. That's the only change though. We still play on uh these pretty much. So we get a chance to try out Leon Bailey at center forward. I don't know if it'll work or not, but with the goal scoring numbers, it makes sense. So we'll try it in this game. Also, Drake, uh, Drake Ramsey up to a 75, which is good to see. Also, very big game for Jordan Whitehouse. So last time we faced Liverpool, they didn't have Van Dyke. Now they have him. So I'm expecting uh expecting a pretty tough game we will see let's see if leon bailey at center forward works and see if uh, jordan whitehouse can have a good game against a very very good team i mean he's only 18 so we gotta remember even if he doesn't play that well the man is only 18 and he's 77 rated so no matter what he's gonna be a good player it's just is he gonna be that player to replace jack Grealish? that is the question because that is some big shoes to fill all right douglas louise into jacob ramsey Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey. See, that was that was a decent run. Just Ramsey couldn't get the ball to him. Right, White House gets it to uh, Ramsey. I keep wanting to call White House White Side. For some reason. To get that to Ramsey. Okay, that works. To Coutinho. He is drifting all the way this out to this side. White House. Oh, that's a great ball for Leon Bailey. But the game doesn't let me pick him. That was going to be perfect. Okay, this looks like a decent attack. Okay, Mings. Try to get Henderson. I just did not know who I was selecting there. Salah goes back to Henderson. Ramsey is there for the interception. And now Leon Bailey is making one of his signature runs and that ball from white house is actually very decent bailey steals it from van dyke i need a runner i need a runner it's white house and it's blocked off robertson that ball from white house to bailey was actually pretty good though okay this is not good this is really not good for Mino. for Mino, mings that was actually pretty easy for us not sure what those moves were but he might come back and help no, mings mings is absolutely destroying for Mino right now all right we need to get more on the other side of the field that is a great ball to Dinier. I wanted that to be a little bit behind McGinn there. Oh, Coutinho. Coutinho steals it from Salah. Look at that defending from the Brazilian god, Bailey, to Ramsey. Oh, that ball is so weak. Man, they really did nerf through balls. Firmino slides it back to Henderson. And once again, our defense holding up. The defense has been so solid this season. Okay, Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey, I think Van Dyke would have stole that. Whitehouse. Whitehouse. Great ball to Coutinho in to Leon Bailey on his left foot and he skies it. I, did I put too much power? I might have put too much power on that. That was beautiful link up play from White House to Coutinho to Bailey though. How do we not finish that? I might have put just a little bit too much power on that. Just a little bit. Coutinho to McGinn. Bailey to McGinn. Back to Felipe. Coutinho cuts inside. Finesse shot. It's going to go a little bit wide. That was a tough angle. I am not mad about this first half though. I feel like we're actually playing pretty decent. Definitely finishing like decently strong. Okay, White House. White House in to Ramsey. This, the ball needs to be just a little bit better for him. We ended that half, though, strongly. I am encouraged with uh, this new front three. How they played the start. It's no goal to show for it, but I kind of feel like this goal might be coming. Might be coming. Van Dyke just sniffs out the danger, though. Again, to Coutinho. Coutinho takes a good shot, Allison. He's gonna, he bobbles it a little bit, but he will control it in the end. Okay, Ramsey is getting forward in some very good spots. I feel like he's always the first one making that run into their third. Coutinho drifting all the way. And McGinn with a lot of room. Allison makes an amazing save. And we're not gonna win the ball back. It kind of feels like the Arsenal game we lost recently. Like, I feel like we've been the better team, but we don't take our chances. Liverpool will at some point. So that is what we're in danger of. Martinez makes a great save. All right, White House. Gets it to Bailey. Trying to get back to White House. Ramsey's going to hold it. Maybe not. Maybe he won't hold it. And Firmino. Okay, I need my guys to run. We're not running. Okay, thankfully Firmino is not that quick. Henderson isn't quick either. Back to Firmino. That's a good skill move. Digne yanks. Makes a good interception though. Okay, Coutinho's got a lot of room here. Trent is a little bit behind. We're going to try to swing a dangerous cross. That was a dangerous cross. Let's know we can get to it. Good ball to Firmino. Endo's overlapping with Salah, but Digne, what a challenge. Probably got to make subs next dead ball. But Leon Bailey, okay, that goes to Coutinho. Supposed to go to Bailey. Still might work. Oh, Joel Matip. Man, Bailey had like a wind-up animation there. If he would have just shot immediately, he would have scored that. He had so much space, he just he decided to wind up the shot, and that gave, oh, that gave room for Matip to try and score. And Salah goes to Mane. It's a very dangerous-looking attack. 
Maddie Cash. Okay, what? What is that? You're joking. Oh, you're joking. Oh, they're going to score like that. You're joking. I tried to pass it. He just like bobbled his first touch. And Liverpool take a 1-0 lead with eight minutes left. Oh, he stole it back. And I don't know if I was caught off guard by that pass. So I don't even know what to do with it. But it felt like Ramsey kind of bobbled his first touch. Like it wasn't clean. And then it just falls to Firmino. And it's a good finish. All right, we're doing Timothy Way on for Coutinho. And then uh, Loftus-Cheek on for Ramsey. Man, that is such an... This feels just like the Arsenal game. Literally, literally just like it. This is what happens when you don't take chances against a good team. This is exactly what happens. Jordan Whitehouse. Can we get a cross in maybe? That is a good looking cross. Loft his cheek. Oh, he climbed for it. Just couldn't get to it. Ball falls to McGinn. Back to Louise. Get it to Loft his cheek. Loft his cheek to Bailey. To Whitehouse. Whitehouse takes a shot. And it is not going to pan out for us. And now Salah. Will he close this game out? That might be our last chance. That is... Truly, truly unfortunate. It's going to be our last chance. And they're going to, they're going to make it 2-0. Man, 2-0 is such a harsh scoreline for this game. That is so harsh. We were probably the better team in this game for like 75% of it. But Liverpool are going to walk out of here with a 2-0 win. I don't know if I blame the loss on the front three. I feel like Whitehouse, Bailey, and Coutinho actually played well. It's just Van Dyke and Joe Matzi prevented like two or three goals themselves. And I think this game shows the gap between us and a team like Liverpool right now. Like we don't take our chances. They are a team that will take their chances. All right, we're jumping straight into the next game against West Ham. We're going with the same front three, Coutinho, Bailey, and Whitehouse. But we got Loftus-Cheek, Buendia, and then McGinn in the midfield. Ashley Young, Mings, Konza, Cash, and Martinez. So facing another decent team, even though obviously not, a good, not as good as a team as, as Liverpool. But this game is away from home, so we'll see. I honestly do feel a little encouraged by that Liverpool game. I feel like the front three, Play decent. It's just Liverpool. You got to be perfect for us. We got to be perfect for a team like us to beat them. And we were not perfect. So West Ham v Villa. This will be a great game to win away from home. Also, Ashley Young in the, in the left back. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we will see what we can do. Can these bubbles go away? I can't see a thing. Okay, this is a decent looking attack for West Ham. Trying to block these passing lanes. Okay, the bubbles have disappeared. Thank you. Is it Silas or Silas? I feel like it's Silas. That's a Womongi Tuka, right? That's a pretty good sign for West Ham in this save. Okay, they're just dribbling around us. Absolutely dribbling, dribbling around us. Matty Cash, what a clearance. It's going to go right back, though, for now. We, we need to relieve some of this pressure. This is immense. And Ashley Young. I need you to make a challenge. Oh, that was a good... How did that... How did not win that? Silas, what a, what a step right there. Can we please just win this ball back? I'm going to lose my mind. Antonio. Of course that ends in a goal. It's been 13 minutes and we have not even had possession of the ball. Oh, and the bubbles are back. Wonderful. We're down 1-0 at the London Stadium. Whitehouse to Bailey. Back to Whitehouse. Whitehouse, Whitehouse goes to... That's going to be Wendia. It'll be a corner. Yeah, we're not taking corners no more. I'm not taking corners anymore. Leon Bailey, get it to whoever's out here. It's Wendia. It's going to be blocked. Bailey will win that. Buendia, second chance. Why is there so much power on that? Buendia, Buendia. That is a good ball into Vlasic, and Mings is there to sniff out the danger. Okay, West Ham, they have, they've shown up today. They've definitely shown up. Again, out to Ashley Young, to Coutinho. Give it to Ashley Young. Leon Bailey might be in. Decent ball by Ashley Young. Leon Bailey does get to this, but they just have so many numbers back. Oh, then I meant to pass that. Why didn't he actually pass that? He's got the ball stolen from him. Dino, two loft his cheek. Bailey. Bailey, can we find the pass? Yes, we can. We can find it. Chip shot and Areola. Oh, what is that? It went back to their center back. Areola just swiped that out of thin air. Maybe that was a tough uh, chip shot. I thought that might work because he was so far out. And don't tell me Vlasic is onside. How is he onside there? He was way past my line. Must have been just timed perfectly. That is into Fernals. That's going to be a goal. But Tyrone Mings, what a block. That is why we're not looking to sell him anytime soon. What a block. That is absolutely a goal-saving block right there. In to Ashley Young. Hey, where is Coutinho? I think Ashley Young just bombed forward. Ball to loft his cheek. In to Bailey. Bailey gets it to him again. To Buendia. Back to loft his cheek. He's trying to find this space. Trying to find it. White House. White House. Decent room for Jordan Whitehouse, and he has tied this game up literally right on halftime. Potentially, the next Jack Grealish just scored for us. Hey, this was a this was a patient and well well executed move, I think. And on his left foot, that's a decent finish. He's right footed, but he's got five star weak foot, and it definitely shows. That is a pretty good hit right there by Jordan Whitehouse. The 18 year old ties up the game at halftime. Okay, the commentator just said it. it's Silas, not Silas. Silas sounds like a character in a TV show. Silas sounds like a very fast footballer. Bailey 
the White House. Do we got space here for a through ball? I don't think we do. Okay, I don't want to cross it. We got no options for the cross. Let's just go back. Let's hold this. Let's go to Buendia. Okay, go back to McGinn. Swing this around. Off his cheek. Ashley Young in to Leon Bailey. Decent shot. Ariola makes a save, though. All right, Bowen is on for West Ham, and I forgot that I'm not taking corners. Actually, this is like a short corner in a way. It actually is. Oh, I was going to pass it off to Bailey. I was just not quick enough. Yeah, I kind of feel like we're missing Douglas Louise at CDM. I feel like that's kind of what we're missing right now. And honestly, we might bring him on because I feel like if we don't, we might concede. Because McGinn can play CDM, but Douglas Louise has just played so good for us. I feel like we're missing him. Ball to White House to Bailey. Back to White House. Maddie Cash. We find Bailey. Yes, we can. We're going to stop. And I shot. Second shot. It's not. Man, that was going to be. That was worked so decently. Just the shot. We cannot find the room. This ball is still not gone out. Coutinho lays it off to Loftus Cheek. Uh, White House is. Is he offside? White House is not offside. White House has just scored the goal to give us the lead. I was 99.9% .9 sure the White House was offside there. I saw the run, but I thought I passed it too late. But Loftus Cheek plays a actual beautiful pass to White House. Yeah, he's barely on side. He, that it's got to be so close right there. And White House has the ability to take the first time shot and finishes it. All you guys in the comments is to play him. Uh, you're seeing why you guys were right. You guys were right. I mean, that is extremely close. So he's hitting the ball there. And White House, I mean, man, that's like as close as you can get to being offside. All right, Douglas Louise on for Buendia. Bailey is kind of tired, so let's do Delap for him. And then let's do... Let's do let's do Timothy Weah or actually let's do Callum Chambers at left back he's got a four-star weak foot he can play there why not we're gonna do that this would be such an amazing win if we can get it I can't okay what is that pass where's the scoreboard how much time do we have right, we got 13 minutes and if we can get another and seal this that would be absolutely amazing Chambers back to Coutinho oh the touch was so bad that was so bad by me oh I want this win bad now I want it bad thank you Antonio for giving me the ball like that okay they're gonna absolutely go for it if we could just get this this sealer please Coutinho to Liam Delap how do we mess up that chance oh oh loft his cheek oh we can't win it back how do we mess that chance up I'm gonna scream that makes me sick how do we mess that up okay we might get a chance here again McGinn Liam Liam please be on side Liam Delap Liam Delap puts it wide why do I still keep trying finesse shots in the box? Why do I keep trying? It didn't look bad. It's it's shadow on the post as usual. Oh, I should I I should have just took it normally. Why do I keep trying finesse shots? Please be enough to win us this game, though. I think we wasted time. Please be enough to win us this game. This would be such a big win. Please, we got a minute left. One minute to defend this. Callum Chambers, use your strength. There we go. There we go. Tyrone Mings over the top and. We have won this game 2-1. That is such a big win. We fought so hard for this win here. And we got it with a good defense, keeping that keeping that lead. And also, Jordan Whitehouse scoring two great goals. The 18-year-old. I mean, talking about the next Jack Grealish. He is, he's playing like he is. Man, I'm telling you, the most satisfying thing in this game is getting a win on these kind of sliders. A win like that, where we had to fight for it too. So... After that win, we're sitting in 10th, but we do have a given hand. Where if we win that, we will probably jump into, we will jump into 9th. And we're trying to catch Crystal Palace. But next game is the FA Cup semis against Everton. So a chance to reach the final where we would play Chelsea. The, uh, the current league leaders in the league, which look like they're kind of running away with the title at this point. So, I mean, we just won the Carabao Cup. Can you imagine doing the domestic double? Villa doing that. That'd be amazing. Could this tie go either way? Uh, well, apparently, oh, it's all about who handles the pressure, I guess. I mean, Everton are a team that are pretty much at our level, so this is even. What's the mood after your last game? Uh, what we're doing is working. Let's say what we're doing is working, I guess. Man, that was such a good win. That was probably my most enjoyable win, I think. At least one of them. Why has the team been struggling? I mean, we've been like up and down, but it's like with this team, there's gonna be ups and downs. All right, so one of our, our youth academy players, he was a center mid, 
We're gonna make him a right mid and he actually goes up. Sam Hooten. So he actually becomes our highest rated uh, youth player at 62. That's honestly not bad. It's honestly not bad. But okay, if I pick up semis, I think I'm gonna agree to give Travers the rest of this competition no matter what. Even if we make it to the final, Travers is playing. But other than that, I kind of want to start a pretty strongish team. And actually, I think we start this team exactly. Like we're playing for another trophy. We got to go out all out and Travers, he deserves it. He played so well in the penalty shootout a couple episodes ago. So Everton have Polson up top. That's a pretty good signing from uh, from what Leipzig. I do feel like we're pretty even though. I feel like we're maybe they're a little bit better in terms of ratings, actually, but I feel like it's it's near even. So at Wembley trying to reach our second cup final of the season. And like I said, according to you guys in the comments, we already have Conference League wrapped up. Now we're playing for Europa League, another step up, which would be a lot better. Obviously, the Europa League, even though it doesn't have the most the highest reputation, it is a much bigger reputation than the Conference League, even though the Conference League is probably where we deserve to be. We are playing for a potential Europa League berth, though. So we will see what we can do. This is a game I want to win very badly. So another game for Jordan Whitehouse to show. Is he the next Jack Grealish? Yeah, I, may I maybe should have gave them dark kits because I mean, these kits aren't clashing the worst. But I mean, like a little bit, they are just a, just a tiny bit, a teensy tiny bit. What did I just say? Did I just say teensy tiny bit? I can't believe I said that. And Travers, I mean, it wasn't the most amazing save, but it's a save. The man is amazing. This guy's a god. He's falling into like, like, like legend category. Can you imagine that he, he another penalty shootout in this game and he plays amazing? Can you imagine that? Oh, there's some boy, they're dribbling into trouble here almost. Yeah, they're talking about White House. He is the player to watch. Okay, that was a decent skill move. That is into Polson. Travers makes another save. Only 73 rated, but he is he's still so solid. Okay, they're kind of all over us right now. Like we're just ignoring the fact that they're kind of just all over us right now, and I don't like it. We've we've barely had the ball. And okay, Dinye, that is great defending. Okay, Calvert Lewin is so much room, please. Okay, what just happened there? I thought the ball was way in front of Calvert Lewin and Konza was in front of Calvert Lewin. I gotta see it again. They just went up 1 0, though. Okay, I was trying to challenge him from behind. Konza makes the challenge. I guess we, I guess we just weren't aggressive enough. I don't know. Calvert Lewin just. Oh, did you just see that? The ball was actually deflected by Konza. It was actually the shot was deflected and it made it actually go in. Look at it. Oh, how unfortunate is that? I mean, if. Otherwise, it would have been probably right at Travers. Hanza gets the tiniest little touch on it, and it gives Calvert Lewin the space it needs. Oh, how unfortunate is that? We literally gave him a pass. What an assist by Konza. And Everton strike first in the FA Cup semifinals. Not good. To concede like that, though, like to concede like that, it makes my stomach hurt. We did it in the last game. We did it literally one game ago. We can do it again. Come back from down, from down a goal. That was not a good ball. Okay, we need to sharpen up here because this is not looking the best. And now Calvert-Lewin. The two strikers up top are kind of giving us a lot of problems. That was another challenge. That just goes right to them. We made a good tackle and the ball just falls right back to them. Douglas Louise. Douglas Louise, that is good defending. Okay, we found Leon Bailey there. Really good. Coutinho. Let's wait for Digne. Digne get it to McGinn. To Coutinho. Coutinho with great space. Good shot. Begovic makes the save though. It was great dribbling by Coutinho, like absolutely beautiful dribbling. All right, short corner. This time Coutinho is right here. I don't know how I feel about that, but this is Jordan Whitehouse. Decent effort, but it's gonna go wide. Again, Bailey to Ramsey. Okay, there's just, there's not much room. I'm gonna go to him again. Go to Coutinho. Was he on side? No, he was not. I didn't know what to do there. I actually did not mean to do that, but I, I didn't feel like I did not like the options we had there. Mings. Please win that. Great win. Coutinho to Bailey. Bailey's been kind of quiet in this episode. I feel like he's just not, I'm not giving up like enough chances. He's a threat though, because whenever he makes runs, the whole two center backs both, uh, both like charge after him and try to mark him. Bailey to Ramsey. Whitehouse, are you on side? Now he's on side. Now he should be on side. Gonna cut inside. Go back to Ramsey. Go to Whitehouse. Go to Cash. Back to Whitehouse. Oh, there was a pass there that was on. Gonna go to Douglas Louise. Douglas Louise into Coutinho. Oh, that deflects in. Okay. That is the FIFA gods absolutely balancing things out right there. They got a fortunate deflection. I feel like ours was a bit more fortunate, but I will take it. This game is tied up at halftime. White House finds Douglas Louise. We are patient. When we're patient. We do find a pretty good shot, even though that was like a horrible deflection. Coutinho takes a shot. I don't know who that center back is though. It's just off his thigh and Begovic can't save it. Coutinho ties the game up and that is the first half. All right, come on. 
We're right back in this. Second half, is a, this is a new game, nil-nil. Calvert-Lewin gets it to Townsend. Calvert-Lewin and uh, Paulson have been scaring me a little bit. Please tell me that's our ball. That's our ball, Dinier. Once again, very solid defending. McGinn to Coutinho, to Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, we're gonna slip it to Dinier. Coutinho was maybe in there, but I don't think the pass was on. That's a great cross to Jacob Ramsey. And Jacob Ramsey has put that into the back of the net. Oh, our other youngster, the other future player of this team. Dinye, what a cross. And Ramsey, I was not expecting to be a good header, but I think he got all this power from the beautiful cross from Dinye. And Jacob Ramsey scores. What a header. That's perfect. Okay, 2-1, 58th minute. We got the momentum. Let's let's try and like score another, though. It's something we, we have a lot of trouble doing. We'll go ahead, but it'll be so hard for us to score like the, the next goal. The goal to give us a two-goal cushion. That's what okay. That's a tactical foul. I will 100% take that. Calvert Lewin's off for who? He's off for Kalazovic. Kalazovic. Please, someone please cure that. Oh, Martinez was not coming out for that and it made me a little bit nervous. This chance is not over though. Not over. Matty Cash, Matty Cash, Matty Cash. Good defending. Makes me a little bit nervous though. Coutinho, give it to Whitehouse. What a ball from Coutinho. What an actual ball. Whitehouse. Whitehouse. Into Bailey. Oh, it's just right at their uh, fullback. That could have been so much better. Basically, we need to score the third goal. That's what I'm saying. We need to score goal number three here. Douglas Louise to McGinn. Bailey, make the run. Make the run. Leon Bailey slipped in. The finish is not there, though. I tried to go far post. I think he went near post. I thought a cross goal, but he kind of just shot it right ahead of it. Maybe the angle was uh, not there. Man, 71st minute. Do we make subs? I don't really want to take anyone off the right now. I feel like we're good. Short corner into Leon Bailey, like usual. Let's get it all the way to White House. Back to Bailey. Okay, let's try and be patient, because when we're patient, we do find a pretty good shot. Okay, that was that was not, not what the plan was. Mings does not win it, but I mean, he gets it out into uh, their half at least. Man, this is tense. Oh, McGinn. Oh, that was clean. That was so clean. How is that a foul? Okay, we need we need to make some subs. I just don't know who. Like Ramsey. Do we do like Buendia for Ramsey or Loftus Cheek? Do we get size in the midfield or another kind of like for like change? I think we'll do Buendia for Ramsey. And then we will leave it at that for now. Probably Coutinho's next. And then move Bailey out wide. And then probably being on like Delap or Watkins, I think. 13 minutes. Holding a one goal lead. We will win that header. And we got okay, they they have like five back. We could time this right though. We got a chance. White House. Give it to Coutinho. Coutinho, slip Whitehouse in. Now back to Coutinho. Coutinho to seal the game and it's gonna get blocked. Bro, that was a that was a golden chance. Oh, how do we mess that up? How do we mess? Okay, Matty Cash. That defending is amazing. Okay, they're going for it, but there's a man out wide. Okay, Martinez. That's actually Travers. Oh, I'm gonna say Martinez. Okay. That wasn't executed right, but oh, just once again, four minutes left, and we have to we have to defend a one goal lead. Can we just steal this, please. Okay, subs are not going to be brought on anytime soon. We just need to win this back. Matty Cash again? No, nope. Okay, Mings, Mings sniffs out the danger. Let's go back to Travers. He's got the kick in him. He's got the kick. It's not really, it's not a great kick, but you know what? It does the job. We got two minutes. All right, Delap on at striker. And then uh, White House to the left, Bailey to the right. Actually, let's do Chukwameka for White House. Just, let's just do that for now. Just to get some fresh legs on. We got, we got two minutes to defend this. Two minutes to defend for our lives to reach the FA Cup final. Goes to Kalazovic. Kalazovic. Dinier. It's going to be a corner for Everton. Last kick of the game incoming for Everton. One last chance. Amari Gray. He's looking for an option. Please, just not. don't let them score in this. Please, FIFA, if there's ever a scripting. Please, for the love of God, do not let scripting happen here. Please. Corner. Sent in by Damari Gray. Mings, 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 Mings. Oh, Travers, what a save. Travers is an absolute legend. Why would the game not give me Mings? It gave me, it gave me, uh, who is that? That's McGinn. It gave me McGinn and it messed up Mings clearing that. Okay, it was off target anyways. Travers just being a little bit dramatic, trying to be the superstar he is. But that is in and that is up by Lucas Luis. Ref. Aston Villa are reaching the FA Cup final. What a win that is. That feels just like the West Ham win. Man, these wins are just so, so satisfying. Oh, what? What a win that is. Once again, we don't have the killer in us to uh, make it 3-1 to seal the game. But the defense holds up and allows us to win the game. So we got another trip to Wembley 
at the end of the season. It's going to be Chelsea Aston Villa FA Cup final. Bro, that that is that is just a, such a good win. It is incredibly satisfying to win like that under these circumstances. So that sets up a very exciting season one finale we got chelsea the epic cup final and we also got the premier league finale which we got what five games four games left five games left five games left we're trying to creep into this eighth spot which seems like the highest finish we can get we're already guaranteed conference league and we got a chance for fa cup for the europa league but you guys let me know so chelsea if they win the fa cup but they also win the prem which qualifies them for the Champions League. Does that mean that we slot into that FA Cup slot for the Europa League? Does that mean we get it even if we lose against Chelsea? Like, I don't know how it works. Because obviously Chelsea won the FA Cup. There's a team that needs to go to the Europa League. But Chelsea won the won the Prem, so they're in the Champions League. I feel like that would mean that we would slot into the Europa League spot. But I don't I don't know if it works like that. We'll have to see. Probably wait till season two to actually see. But at least we're guaranteed some kind of European football for next season. That is huge. I mean, Jordan Whitehouse, plus eight to a 78. He really does look like the next Jack Grealish. Like, he had a really, really good episode. We got to think going forward that uh, this might be the team for the final end of this season. I mean, Leon Bailey didn't really score. But I mean, I feel, like, I feel like he's such a threat down the middle. Where it makes sense to play him down the middle at center forward. It makes sense. I feel like he's still much more of a thread down the middle than ollie watkins and delap is definitely not ready to start so you guys let me know in the comments if this is what we should go forward with to end this season white house bailey and coutinho i feel like it might be our best option going forward but yeah you guys asked for a white house to get more game time we put him in the lineup and he probably won us the the west ham game at least so that is down to you guys in the comments that was a great great suggestion definitely at this point i do not want to loan white house out he's gonna get game time i want to keep him here man this was this was a great episode if you guys enjoyed it drop a like i'd appreciate it so much let's keep trying to hit a thousand likes you guys keep killing it so let's try to keep killing it and also sub to the channel if you're not we are very close to 40,000 subs that just sounds insane but we are very very close to it so that is it i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day